speech class and everything, and I'm going to be talking about um, sending people to rehab for um, drug problems rather than straight to prison and everything. Um, you see every day on the news that uh, somebody gets arrested for uh, smoking marijuana or possession of cocaine, all those bad legal drugs and everything for you. And most of the time where they're sent to, they're sent straight to prison and everything, right after court. But what most people don't realize is that in Columbus, Ohio, it costs about $80 a day to keep people in prison. Now, that's not so bad, but you got to think about $80 for this person and then this person every day. So they're spending gosh knows how much money to keep people in prison and everything. And the more people that we arrest for drug usage and everything, the more prisons fill up faster and the less room that we have to keep them in there. Um, why this is a better option is because people in prison and everything, I, they don't really get the help that they need. It's just kind of like a timeout. Like, you know, you've been a bad adult and everything, so we're going to send you to prison for an X amount of years and everything else and think about what you've done. Whereas where if they go to rehab, um, they have a better option, better chance to get better and everything rather than uh, the addiction getting worse and there's treatments and everything and... <coughs> Um, this is a statistic about people that did not go to a drug treatment. Um, they were they were rearrested within a year, and compared to those that didn't receive drug rehabilitation, should have been. No. And then um, green is uh, they received a new jail sentence within a 12 month period compared to those who didn't undergo drug rehab. So a lot more people pretty much have, um, can't think of the word. they have fallbacks as compared to those that didn't go to a drug treatment and everything else. Um, Gen uh, Attorney General Eric Holder, um, the, he sends people, he goes to court and everything and then he sends people that come in with like, you know, a drug problem, you know, they were arrested for it and everything and he goes, okay, well, I'm going to give you an option. You can either go to prison for 10 years or we can send you to rehab where you can complete a program and everything else. And most people that do do the program, um, there's an 80% rate that people can go through it and everything and they complete the program from beginning to end. And then they are clean for at least two years. So, and again, rehab would be a better option than prison. The people that did go to the drug treatments. They received new jail sentence within a 12 month period compared to those who did undergo drug rehab and everything. So they were given like a better chance in life and everything. And then there, there is a 57% rating compared to, I think it was the 70% rating. So there's less people that get arrested if they go to drug rehabilitation within a year rather than those who did go. And then compared to those that did receive drug rehabilitation, only a small amount is actually, that's actually a large chunk and everything, but it's actually really good compared to those that did between the two charts and everything because you can see the difference between those who did go, which is positive uh, reaction compared to those who didn't go, which was more of a negative reaction. So, that's what I have. Thank you.